So what we're talking about now is we're looking at our introduction into bonds, and we're going to have a light discussion on what a discount bond is and a coupon bond. Okay, a discount bond is very similar to the things that we've done previously. We are looking at a basic present value here, right? This this right here is looking almost exactly like a uh, this part right here, right? You know, we do present values equal to future value. 1 plus r to the t power, right? It's, it's the exact same thing. That m that we're seeing there, that is the maturity value. That's the face value. Um, it, uh, that's, that's the price that you're going to get paid out when you redeem this bond. Okay? A bond, right, we know is borrowing. And with that borrowing is that we see it has a, has a face value. It'll say $100 on it or say $1,000 on it. And at the end of it, at maturity, Okay, maturity is the time in which you're able to redeem this bond for the cash, right? So if we have this maturity is at $100, okay, we would have a maturity here of $100, which means I bring this bond up to whoever issued it, and they give me $100, okay? So one of these ways we look at it is we have this discount bond, okay? And a discount bond means that there is not any intermediate interest payments that are being paid. Right, we just get paid off on the face value of the bond. Okay, so we have to discount what that bond value is, right? Because if I'm paying you back, if, I, uh, if I'm redeeming a bond and I'm getting $100 for it, is that I'm not going to be willing to pay $100 for it. Okay? So what we're looking at as well is that we have our, um, we're going to be redeeming this bond, say, in two years at an interest rate of 8%. Okay? Do we have enough information now to compute what the value of this bond is today? It's divided by 1.08 squared. Okay? And that gives us a value of $85.73. Okay? Pretty simple, right? A perpetuity is a payments that are received forever. It's perpetual. Okay? If we come up with a present value of a perpetuity divided by R, okay? And so this is saying that we, have a, we, are, we are receiving this payment forever, right? And then we are discounting that back by the R, okay? So with the perpetuity is that formula right here for when you compute an annuity. Because an annuity is very similar to a perpetuity in that we are still taking those fixed payments and discounting them. So if we multiply this through, we have that payment divided by R minus our payment, our discounted payment, receiving T period, divided by R. Okay? So out on this half, out here on the left side, is that we have the perpetuity. Okay, but if we look at another one in which we have a limited specified number of payments that we're going to be receiving, this annuity, is that this part out here is how much we are going to take off. So this is going to be, um, we're going to call it the tail. Okay, so these are, um, is that when we take this out, is that this is going to give us the present value of our current payments. So we have the value of our, of our uh, perpetuity. Okay, we have the value of our perpetuity right out, right out here on the left-hand side. Okay? And then um, we subtract off of that this part right here, which is basically the amount that, we're, that we would possibly be receiving after the annuity stops. And then that gives us the value of an annuity. Now, what we'll notice is that if we were to plug this stuff in, all the stuff off, off of this part right here, if we plug that into our calculator, is that we will end up with the same answer that we would do it if we were putting them in as the, uh, the summation, right? If we were summing up all the value of our, of our present values, okay? These two statements here are equivalent, okay? These are equaling the same thing. We do the math through, and we will end up with the same exact answer on these two things, okay? This is just showing us a different mathematical way to do it. This is the way that we're showing on the left-hand side is how we would actually assemble them. Okay? It's how we would actually assemble it and actually do the math without having to run through each of our payments individually. 
This right here is the value of our annuity. And this right here is the value of a lump sum. Because what we're saying here is that we're going to have these, these bonds, these coupon bonds, which are going to pay out interest payments. Okay, they're going to pay out interest payments, and then they're also going to pay out at maturity. Okay. So then we take these two things together, and this is going to tell us what our bond value is. This is stuff that you've already seen before. We have on the left side, we have an annuity. On the right side, we have the lump sum. You've already seen how to do this. We're computing what the value of... All these payments are we're receiving until the end of time, and then we're also computing what the value of that lump sum at the end is going to be. Um, one thing is that when we look at this here, this is our interest payment, this, the actual dollar amount. This is the actual dollar amount that you're receiving in your payments, and this over here is our uh, face value.